Hello everyone, I'm Anisha Bafna, Vice President of uh, uh, Cities Tech, uh, representing the Customer Success and Data Science team at Cities Tech. Uh, I would like to thank GSL uh, for providing me an opportunity to present my point of view on application of NLP to improve radiologist productivity and how can we help the radiologist, uh, you know, reduce the burnout and boost their morale while they are at work diagnosing hundreds of images, thousands of images during the day. Before I move to the core part of the topic today, I would like to um, you know, spend a couple of minutes talking about the company that I'm representing. Um, CTS Tech uh, is um, the leading healthcare IT software and services company. Um, one of the first silicons in India founded in 2005, uh, and it's primarily focused on US healthcare business. Our customers include large medical technology companies like G, G, hospital like payers, news, signals of the world, and even pharma companies like Genetic Roche, etc. What are, what would you be uh, you know learning, learning today during the presentation? Um, I'm going to talk on a variety of topics. Today's session will be focused on key challenges that. Uh, radiologists face during medical exam reviews, diagnosis, um, you know, given the shortage of radiologists and increasing demand and dependency on diagnostic imaging, right? What are the issues that they face while they are reviewing the exams on a day-to-day -day basis? I will walk you through five themes that I have identified. Um, and, you know, these themes are all around radiology workflows, and I've identified these themes based on a lot of lot of research publications from RSNA, from journals of imaging and application of AI techniques like NLP, natural language processing. Um, and during the duration of this talk today, my primary objective is focused on reducing administrative burden on radiologists through digitally enabled healthcare applications and smart workflows. So you know, let me just share my point of view on you know, what, is, what is the current state, right? So increased use of imaging for clinical diagnosis is forcing radiologists and other healthcare professionals to manage heavy volumes of patient exams and focus on diagnosis, complex diagnosis, and rare, rare disease scenarios. For example, um, you know, treatment pathways for decision, decision, disease conditions like cancer, heart conditions, they depend on a lot of medical images like x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, and so on and so forth. And often these are critical you know, cases which need immediate attention from radiologists. Radiologists get burdened by, you know, around thousands of exams in a day and are often under pressure to review more exams in a day and have a better turnaround time. Technology advancements like AI, healthcare data sanitization, like CCDAs, DICOMs, et cetera, have helped to reduce this burden to a large extent. And radiologists are welcoming this new change. You know? So organizations need to embed this intelligence in each area of workflow, as you can see on the slide, right from patient scheduling to image acquisition, to processing of the images, diagnosis, and then reporting all the information back to the providers in time. Application of AI, NLP is helping to manage, you know, this unstructured information smartly and reducing clinical gaps, help in accurate diagnosis and faster results. End of the day, it is important that the radiologists don't get burnt out uh, just because there's lack of information and technology advancements. So as I said, you know, I, I'll, I'll talk through this, this, this uh, topic, right, through five themes. Now, I'll, I'll share my findings through these themes, which pretty much align to radiology and EHR workflows and how NLP can help to improve productivity of radiologists and boost their morale. This will also help radiology practices to better manage their workforce, retain radiologists, and improve patient outcomes. Let me walk you through each theme with some examples. I will assume that the audience today has 
foundational knowledge of healthcare systems like EHRs, RIS, PACs, interoperable standards like XL7, CCDAs, DICOMs, FIRES, and uh, you know some bits of AI, especially NLP. Nonetheless, I'll be happy to answer your questions with respect to this topic. So let's dive into each theme. So the first theme is on contextual intelligence. As I mentioned before, the disease condition scenarios are getting complicated day by day. And a lot of new diseases, infections like COVID, you know, are getting discovered. But radiologists encounter these scenarios day in, day out, and they struggle to access reference material and have access to expert consultation when they really need it. This is time consuming and often frustrating for them, you know. And NLP and AI algorithms can help to make this whole literature search experience more intelligent and faster. Radiologists can, you know, type or even speak into a into a into a mic uh, what they're looking for. And NLPs can interpret voice, they can convert speech to text, they can interpret text and help them search for contextual articles. Right, so NLP algorithms can do all voice interpretation, text interpretation, etc. This will help them to save time and focus on reviewing some more, you know, additional exams during the daytime because now there's an application that is making their literature so smart. To the course of this presentation, what I'm also going to do, guys, is I'm going to share some few facts, right, from various publications, and one such is like there. Do you know that? There are certain study results that have shown that radiologists spend 44% of their time performing non-interpretive tasks and are interrupt, interrupted on an average of about once every 12 minutes during the business hours. Imagine the power of NLP and imagine if they could save that time, they could you know, multiply the number of exams that they can see by 2x. Let me walk you to another uh, theme. You know. How can you help them make smarter clinical decisions? And you know, this is my favorite. And by the way, AI assisted patient 360 view can not only help radiologists, but even other healthcare professionals in ambulatory and hospital settings. Healthcare information today is disparate and distributed in various forms like HL7, CCDS, PDFs, etc. Progress notes, clinical summaries are all over the place in unstructured information, in unstructured formats. Often radiologists have to pick up phones, talk to the PCPs, the primary care physicians or specialists and get more context of the patient condition. NLP and NLP integrated with interoperability can help to a large extent by extracting relevant information from these disparate sources and create a longitudinal record of a patient, right? Which is available at a click of a button while viewing the examiner diagnostic viewer. So imagine they're on the diagnostic viewer and all the information, the patient context is all available. They don't have to call anybody. They don't have to look for specialists. All the information is just available. Did you know that many digital tools, you know, they can work in the background seamlessly without even creating additional work for the radiologist and providing an enhanced experience and enabling the radiologist to only focus on image interpretation with fewer distractions. Another example is workflow automation, right? So here, I mean, NLP and OCR techniques can be applied to automatically extract measurements. So today what happens is, radiologists often report numerous organ measurements, like for example, there are about 13 measurements that are required to be recorded in a female pelvic report. Now imagine reporting of this data, they have to enter so many, like a lot of information while they're filling up the radiology report. It's all administrative burden. NLP techniques, OCR techniques can be applied to automatically extract these measurements from a DICOM or any other form of exam for that matter. And you can auto-populate this information in the fields in the radiology report and make their life easy, right? This will help to shorten the dictation time during the diagnosis and reduce errors as well. By the way, a preliminary data from an RSA report, you know, shows that a solution like this shortened the radiologist dictation time 
by an average of 50 seconds per report for just for a pelvic examination. And there are so many examinations that they have to do. How do you make their work list management smarter, right? And that's the next example. Often medical, medical imaging exams require more than one radiologist to review and identify appropriate diagnosis and results. Like typically, uh, let's take example of an ER study, right? It takes about, you know, on an average 45 minutes for a general radiologist, whereas a specialty radiologist can deliver quick results because they are probably an expert in, you know, reviewing an ER study. It is important that this work list, right? What are the images that should be viewed by a general radiologist versus a specialty radiologist. It's important that this work list is managed smartly. And AI and NLP can help to effectively route a specific exam to a radiologist based on their specialty and based on their you know, publications, their bio, et cetera. AI and NLP solutions can look through radiology specialty, their past experience, and they can correlate which exam should be routed to which specialist and avoid handovers. By the way, you know, a lot of this, I mean, there is some proven numbers to it, okay? Radiologists spend an average of 12 minutes per exam to look at an appropriate referring physician, uh, you know, to convey the information, right? So uh, today, 56% uh, of fewer ED cases, okay, take longer than 45 minutes to read 75 minute improvement in average turnaround time for outlier studies in the ICO. And for application of NLP, right, 26% less work is done after 5 p.m. So, I mean, if you could smartly route the exam, you could, you know, uh, reduce this 45 minutes time to less time, right? And there could be a lot of improvement in the turnaround time. The last theme for the day missing information, right? So the power of having the right information at the right time, I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this. A patient's clinical record is often managed by multiple care team members, right? Based on their role and their capability in the practice. You know, right from a primary care physician to a covering physician, to a nurse, to a specialist, you know, even though the patient records are electronically managed in today's time, there are instances of missing information and radiologists struggle to look for that information. It is an honestly administrative burden on them during diagnosis processing, and it is time consuming. They spend about 12 minutes per exam just to look for the right physician to convey the results as per a study that was published by Journal of Digital Imaging. AI can reduce that time to nearly four minutes per exam. And this is, guys, I'm just basing this information you know, based on all the research that has been done on application of NLP, on application of smart intelligence to get the right information at the right time. So the radiologists can focus on what they are supposed to, which is diagnosis, which is turning around as many exams as possible during the daytime. So I, I hope this was you know, informative for all of you, right? And I would just want to share some, some takeaways from this meeting. When you think of applying NLP, whether it's a radiology workflow, whether it's any other, you know, healthcare workflow, right? Don't, don't, don't start from the solution. Focus on outcomes. Focus on what are the end user challenges. Focus on what are the shortcomings in the workflows. What value can you bring to the end user without really disturbing or disrupting their day-to-day -day workflow, right? Focus on that. Implement, implement a rapid prototyping strategy. Involve the business stakeholders, right? And you know, when, when you're doing a rapid prototyping, you could, you know, work through some solution in two weeks of time, demonstrate the results, go back, implement the feedback, and make your solution better. And you know, another tip: identify readily available algorithms. JSL has, I think, probably almost 300 plus ready to available healthcare NLP models, right? You could make a lot of use of their clinical decision support models. There are a lot of other operational excellence models available, right? And during your prototyping phase, you could use this model, see the outcomes, customize, and then you know define your input data pipeline, define what your statistical metrics are. Remember, radiologists or any providers will not understand 
if your model is 80 percent accurate it means nothing to them try to focus on try to define business metrics what does it mean you know how does it move the needle for them are you helping them with more intelligent information making their life easy so that the turnaround time is better that is a business metric are you giving them a longitudinal view of a record and avoiding number of clicks or you know looking at different other solutions that is a business metric so focus on defining business metrics and trust me there would be a lot of adoption from the healthcare community on application of nlp and other artificial intelligence algorithms thank you for your time today and you know please post your questions uh and do visit our website and if there's any other uh, you know uh, my contact information is available on the screen if there's any other information any other questions i'll happy to answer thank you